nie ndathiaga ogithakaini na tiko nene ndathiaga o haha wana ndahingura ngiti ngatonya ngaraka he mundu uranyona ngona ndahota gukorerwa menyekane ni ni kiero ndirathi ngai na mirira ngai hana tari ngu ndari na thina tondu riu no nyahanie ta ndirauna ngu nigetha we wona wanyona uge ni ngu ndirauna no thina ndina ngu no gutire mundu ugiamenyire nikiona ina jani na kata majani na kata majani kama ifi na wekerea na wekerea kesho nikikuja niende pale na kata majani ninaenda ifi baka huko kship is kenya sanitation and hygiene improvement program the the project's main goal, that is objectives, were to reach and sensitize people with sanitation and hygiene messages, uh, move people from open defecation to basic latrines, uh, move, move those from uh, those with basic latrines to improved sanitation. Dari na dena, no ni dat e dikire mu denya wa mu denya. Ni ona ni daro arete, no di di amena kira kia do arete. Ni daro arete ko haro. Na ni dake na ile ngai ni undu wa ni undu wa andu aya kurehe otheru ni waigwa na ni ndaro ari the nokira kia andu ari ni menya ni kioro tondu kihera kiu ri muruki ucio ri ti mwega no riu ni ndiona ga wi muru ndaigwa no riera riera tondu ingiagita ithirie na kinje kiatia with the keshi program there are various processes that we've been undertaking so as to attain ODF with basically the main aim to ensure that there is total behavior change at the villages and also at the household level. Naivasha is so diverse with the villages because within some of the villages in some wards we have quarries within a village which has typical different characteristics from the original households in that these quarries we have people who come in there as the owners of the quarries others are workers and they normally come from morning and they go back by evening hapo mbeleni hatukuwa na vio ndani ya kwale hayo vinaye wakaingia wakaanza kutufundisha na vyenye walikuwa anza kutufundisha tukaanza na sisi kushika vyenye wanatuelezea all the quarries have put up latrines that are shared hapa hatuchungani mimi nikiingia kwa choo nikuta iko chafu nijitengenese mwenye anaingia anahakikisha amestahili amefanya vyenye inastahili atoke huko anawe mkono hapo akitoka tu kwa cho na awache kama cho amefunika Netoke na tatondo hedere atota hedere atotare na sioro to amya ukuruwe tugathuguma kuo ato aria mararuta wira guku marugaga na mayo ko to mafundi ni merugagira irio riu kuma hedere ya wakiruo sioro ri Nituonete ogaruruku tondu ona mundu agithie darasemania na giko kingi guthi kwari ngi guthi koragwo ngi riu na ona andu riu tukona ona manginywa mai maya ri matingirwa rori andu marwaraga kwari na andu marwaraga ta ibodi ugakora andu ni maratahika ni maraharwo na riu gutire na andu tocio It was a long process first to get the owners secondly to get the people who been supplied the, the the quarries and then again also to get to be in touch with the, the workers there. So it was kind of stage, stage by stage approach to ensure there is buy-in of everyone. There were villages that were actually taking a bit of time to be open defecation free. And when we engage with the communities, we realize that we have vulnerable groups within those villages. The vulnerable, some of them were the elderly, the sick, the disabled, and also the children. My name is Fuzo Tukitaka Kocha Tinafunika. Tinakuja Tinanawa Mikana Tinasabuni. When we were trained on CLTS, community-led total sanitation, we involved the community fully in improving their sanitation. Ikuwa 2017 walikuwa nasunguka padi watu wa Herod. Safira nilikuwa na waona nilikuwa na toroka. Aninsika ifi. Kasema tumefika. Safira walikuja ndio niliwapea file niko. Nikawaambia nilikuwa nimeshiba simu ika mfo ikakuwa nyingi kaharibika. Nikajaribu kushiba ingine hapo nyuma ya nyumba na ikaharibika. 
saa mimi nilikuwa na watoto wangu wanaenda wanajisaidia ije na mimi nachukua na kijiko na peleka wapi kwa cho msi akijisaidia nachukua na kijiko na peleka kwa hiyo simu safi ndio walikuja wakaniuliza unaenda ga wapi nilikuwa tu na afisa afisa hivi juu hata mimi nilikuwa naona aibu saa ndio walisema wakirudi wakute nimejenga nini cho ndio sasa watu wa kijiji walijidiana walijegee nini wakuwa wakuwa na mahero sadi walikuja wakawauliza pale watasiba cho wakakuja wakashiba wakanijegea na nikafurahia sana we took the community through a process we call triggering now after triggering they are emerged people we call natural leaders twa kwa triggerere leu rere ama ni matwe kana matudhomithirie magigitua ni ya uri atukoragwa na hatari ya uguo mai makoragwa maihurite gicagi gitu the natural leaders are the ones who led the, the whole process of seeing to it that every community every member of the community has a toilet and is using also every toilet has a pit cover and ha there is hand washing facility and soap in every homestead tugikora ri wakuru ta riu ta shushu wa nyuaya tugikora ari amari ehire tugikora mishitano ya kuru wacio mukuru ucio arakwira ati riri kioro ni rone na kio no athia ga kioro arugamite ugu dai na vena wa kioro ama ero dira moki ni maki ni maki jiro ri igika na dado de ke ro kioro ki ni mana ke wa ko ni ni dia ga na jira jira our office had taken us through training on equity and inclusion this way by you include everybody on matters sanitation magedetwa netio uhoro wa gasturu ucio tarahota guika ati tugakionyo ina nyingi cia commodities icio cia cia kiyoro a commod is a modified product like maybe a stool or a chair that is modified just to suit the inability one has they were able to modify the latrines we have the, the pit hole the aperture whereby they do a construction they take a, the, the plastic uh, bucket they mold it with cement and raise it such that uh, the old people are not able to squat but just to go and sit on it and a rope that aids them to actually sit and stand kamurugo hau kafereini twari na thina muno muradi utano katwari na thina tondu aingi matiari cioro mai mai hurite kila mahali the goal of community-led total sanitation is to ensure reduction of diarrhea diseases in the implementation areas. Right from 2013 up to now 2019, we've seen diarrhea diseases reduce by 36% in the six wards that CLTS has been undertaken and the villages have been certified open defecation free.